We got a 2024 Tacoma four wheel drive. Not a pro, but we're gonna install a grill. This is Joseph's truck right here. And he just won a, what's the name of the company's name? The grill? Custom, custom, grill. custom grills. Custom grills Let's go check this out. It's gonna be one of these guys right here. So they have a video, but it's only for the pro. Um, the video shows them removing some flares and some other stuff, including the battery mount, which is kind of weird how the pro had their battery right here. And he wanted to remove some stuff. We're not doing that. We're not doing any of that. It's just a grill. Probably gonna take us a little longer, but it's gonna take you guys minutes because we're gonna make this video for you. All right, so what you gotta do is cover the intake first. Make sure there's nothing that falls inside of it. And these are push tabs right here. You can see we've already done this, this, and this. So just push that in and then lift from right here. So, that, I would remove it, put that in the side. That's not gonna do anything. That's just a little piece right there. And you're gonna have all these bolts right here. Another push tabs right here. Doing all these, all those rolls. So what we did was once we removed this little cover here, this is basically just another intake piece that's your intake, and then you got your intake manifold right here. And really all it does is just a, a 90 that goes up. And your filter's on top, so if anything does fall in there, just unclip these two. Remove the filter, and then grab that stuff that fell in there. But we'll cover it anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab this tab right here. And this thing goes in there. You just use a flathead, and then pull, pull uh, pry it out. So 10 millimeter, one, two, three, four, five, and then number six. So that's gonna take the top part off. And then you got, if you look right here, you have another 10 mil. One, two, a little clip that you just turn and that comes off. And then another one here. You can see that on my camera. And then another one right here. And we'll go underneath. I think there's like four more on the bottom. And we're gonna do that the same on the other side. So you gotta jump. Got the bottom. So there's two bolts that's gonna be kind of different. Uh, you're gonna have these kinds of bolt right here. And then he has one that's see the different colors on these two. One's a tab and one doesn't have it. So you could tell by the color. So the, the top three, so here, where he's at and then the other side is going to be the aluminum colored one yep. and nice to have two people doing it and then he has one right here so that was the black goes on top of that so basically it's just if it's rubber to rubber or plastic, It's going to be the uh, aluminum looking bolt and the black one is that. So I think we got those. Now we're going to start on the side. All right, here we go. So you're going to need a 10, 10, and then a flathead. And I'll give you that one right now if you want to start on those. So now on the bumper, you're going to notice that there's also a difference on it. So the bumper side is going to have this kind with the point on it. another one that's going to be kind of pointy so that's going to be for the bumper and then you have another one on the bottom right here you might need to take this out and then pop this one in so you can just pull that one out by the way that's harbor freight uh, electric ratchet one of the best ones i was, I was going to get a, um, a snap on but no way why you don't really need these for high torques all right, so now we're gonna go on the other side and do the same. So same deal. Oh, you can pass it to me, so we don't lose it. And we will do a walk around on this Tacoma. 
brand new Tacoma. And everything's different, by the way, from the previous Tacoma. This whole thing is a different ball game right here. So you notice that there's sensors right here, here, and then this one here is the speed. Uh, I believe this one here is the sensor for the uh, collision. Collision, and then the, the other one could be the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the cruise control. So it knows how far uh, it should uh, keep the speed up with the other vehicle in front. All right, so on the bottom, on this, in these vehicles or the, these trucks, you have one right here. One, two, three, four, five. And those are gonna be the pointy screws. These are also 10 millimeters. So we're gonna have Mr. Joe, the owner of the truck, continue on. All right, if you're looking right here, you're gonna use a flathead, just twist. And once you twist that, you can actually just remove this piece out. Let me see here in the trim. Here, see how it pops right out? So you do that. See from right here, that piece comes out right there. Here's another clip. So basically, this one goes on top. There's another one on the bottom. Same deal. You just pull and then use that little piece right there, the little tab, and that takes out that part. Another 10 millimeter with the pointies and those ends. Can you see it? Beautiful. So there's two 10 millimeter under in back here, one here and one underneath here where Joe's trying to get that little. There you go, and his lip is down. Now he has to do one more on the other side. I'm sticking. I don't know about you guys, but already. For me, the lip is a no. Okay, look how it looks without the lip. Jeez, big difference already. All right, so underneath here, once you remove the lip, you have one 10 millimeter here. And then on this side here, if I can move my creeper, uh, we may have to remove this one, and this is not a 10, this is a 12 so two 12s i'm not sure if you really need to we, we will find out soon because you got the covering right here wait hold on here most likely now leave the 12 millimeter on remove the 10 millimeter on the side of it so you got the one there one two three four on that side so joe's gonna pop that 10 that's all the way in the back so there's a trim on your where the far right is at it's a little under no, it's actually, uh, you see the 12 right here, the little yeah. shiny one? Right in the back, you'll, you'll see that little 10. This is a 10. Yeah, yeah, so there, and then there's one all the way in the far right. Right here, on the it's facing down, right? Yeah, so like one is right here. See this, this trim? Right? Once you pop this open, you'll see it. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, okay. right there. All right, so for you to remove this, all the bolts are out. So all this stuff is moving. What you need to do is start either in the driver's side or the passenger side and you just go right here and when you lift this piece out you see this little piece right here so you got these trimmings and what you want to do is you want to pull away from that as soon as you pull away from that it'll start dislocating it from the, the body itself so we're going to do that to the other side so I'm going to do that go for it Gonna pull out hard, yep. Be scary. There you go. Oh, See it? Shit. Yep, you're okay. Yep, nothing. I know it kind of feels weird doing that <laughs> to a brand new vehicle, yeah. but that's that's what it is. Go ahead and start pulling it out slowly. Pull it back yep, do it again. This is gonna have some on the bottom now. Don't be afraid to pull it slowly. All right, the whole thing is out, so we're gonna be right back. There you go. Me and Joe are gonna take that bumper out. One guy's gonna be in the left or right. You can actually do this if you were by yourself. I like to go do this. Try it, try it, and then flip them right here. Do that, but we're gonna go from side to side because this is Joe's baby. And I would just use like any part of the hole right here in the bottom. 
it's not heavy once you take it out, it's probably worth it 20 pounds. And then while you're doing that, we're going to use a flathead. There's probably going to be some more harness we're going to have to unclip. Great. we took out was for this I guess you didn't need to take this one out or that you just what well you do and then just unclip it from right here and that's the only harness you have to unclip and that is it and now we're gonna just remove this piece out and start putting the trimmings in there it's a video so that we can remember put things back so we're gonna remove that that and that that's 12 or 10 a 10 10 millimeter and the reason why we're removing that is because um, we need to get through in the center of that and uh, we'll document more on it I believe we're gonna have to maybe take this up but we'll see these harness All right, so you see Joe underneath. So what we did was slowly from the far end and worked our way in. So we just basically torqued everyone in the bottom first and then we started off here and worked our way in. So we went from A, B, C, D, E, F, and then on that side. Joe's underneath because for some reason it was easier this way and we didn't have to keep holding the, um, the front bumper cover. Uh, to stand up, so this one's the uh, easiest way to do it. Ready? Oh, uh, this one right here. Oh. If you're still working on it, I can change my flight. Huh? No, we're gonna go right now. This is the last one, actually. Good. All right. All right, once you get everything going, basically bolt everything back up, everything goes back in. Um, don't forget the wire harness to put all the clips back on, including this right here. Make sure that the tabs are 
there are actually out and not in. So make sure everything before you put everything back is actually put in correctly. So what I would do first, if you're by yourself, you slide these two in first. There's a little clip right here, so you can see that. And once you have that set, you're just gonna pretty much pop everything back in into the clips.